Pipe 2000 has uh, some features to enable you to handle fittings in piping sections uh, in a uh, simple manner. Uh, again, accessing some customized information that's included in a background table. For example, uh, this pipe has uh, an elbow in it. We look under fittings. We can bring up a, a list of fittings and if we select the elbow, the loss coefficient for the elbow will be uh, shown in the uh, appropriate space and uh, if we add elbow or add a second elbow this uh, these effects will be accumulated. Now the fittings information can be customized and again under setups and defaults you go into the table here and suppose uh, we wanted to add a fitting uh, there's a symbol here that's, which will uh, be used to show what fittings are in a particular pipe section. But suppose I want to add a non-return valve in this location. And the uh, coefficient for this valve, let's say, is 1.2. Now, if you put an asterisk, so this, the uh, fittings type, you can include as many items as you want. There's uh, uh, numbers, symbols, upper and lower case. There's room for probably close to a hundred of these. If you have an asterisk in front of them, then these will uh, not ap will appear in the list. If you don't have an asterisk in front of them, they'll be in the original list, but they'll not appear on the box that it shows up. So I'm going to remove this asterisk and put an asterisk in the front of this one and now we should get this new fitting to appear. Now I'll go back to the map and uh, select a pipe here and here we now have the non-return valve and if I click on that I'll add a 1.1. Let me turn off this one and excuse me 1.2 which is what I entered for that loss coefficient. So we can customize fittings and uh, Again, this uh, box works so I can just accumulate information. The fittings will be added up and uh, uh, this is a very effective way of uh, handling the fittings. And up here the symbols show so we can see exactly what's in that pipe section.